Victoria's thin blue line has refused to break after the force lost four of its finest in the eastern freeway crash. The driver of a Porsche accused of fleeing the scene is in custody tonight as the officers left for dead are remembered for their service. Crime reporter Lana Murphy begins our coverage. A fugitive now in the firm grip of police. Porsche driver Richard Pusey didn't just flee the carnage, he left four officers to die on the side of the Eastern Freeway. Masked, cuffed and flanked by eight detectives, the 41-year-old at the centre of a citywide manhunt following the single deadliest incident in Victoria Police's history. The whole police family is feeling that this morning and will for many, many days to come. The four officers on the dreaded roll call, Constable Glenn Humphreys, still in training after graduating just a few weeks ago. Leading Senior Constable Lynette Taylor, who'd recently changed roles after years in the force. Senior Constable Kevin King, a father of three and Ngunnawading Highway Patrol member who took the fourth victim, Constable Josh Presney, under his wing in his first few months in the job. Officers just doing their work, doing their job, doing a duty that is performed by officers uh, many times a day across our state. Uh, and it is a, just a timely reminder of how tragic it is. These, these police work can be. The horrifying tragedy unfolded after 4.30 yesterday afternoon. After clocking the Porsche 911 at 140 kilometres per hour, the officers in their unmarked car pulled Pusey to the side of the freeway where he allegedly returned a positive drug test. The highway patrol unit was called to impound the car and the driver ordered to exit the vehicle. That's when the refrigerated semi-trailer moved from the flow of traffic into to the emergency lane, continuing at a speed of 100 kilometres per hour. It struck the marked police car first, the force sending it flying into the centre median strip, before striking the white car and the Porsche, which became wedged beneath the cabin. They were dealing with this uh, person, dealing with the impound situation and uh, have, have obviously uh, had next to no warning that... Uh, that the truck has arrived. But instead of running to their aid, Pusey simply ran. The driver of the truck blacking out after witnessing the carnage. Father of two, Mahinda Singh Bajwa, transported to hospital. Hours later, his Cranbourne home was searched as major collision and homicide detectives combed the scene beside their fallen colleagues. To live a life in the service of others is a deeply impressive thing to lose your life in the service and protection of others is a tragedy. The freeway shut and the crime scene was active for close to 20 hours before the crumpled wreckage was towed. Police cars and bikes escorting the coroner's van as the officers made their final trip down the freeway. Members of the force and wider Victorian community now coming to grips with this senseless loss. This touches everyone, touches the whole community, it touches all those emergency service workers who, you know, forever will remember last night. Uh, it's going to leave a big hole for many people. And Lana's outside the Royal Melbourne Hospital. Lana, have detectives spoken with the truck driver yet? Not yet, Pete, and I am told it could be a number of days before Mahinda Singh Bajwa is well enough to undergo a formal interview. We did see police enter the Royal Melbourne Hospital here around 3 o'clock this afternoon. We know this is where he is in a stable condition after suffering a medical episode immediately following that crash. But I visited the father of two's family home in Cranbourne this afternoon and neither his wife or his adult son were interested in making a comment. The same goes for Connect logistics the company that mr bajwa was driving for but pete they won't be able to dodge questions for long the homicide squad and major collision investigators are determined to find out how and why their colleagues were killed